so this one is multi endpoint race condition so this is not like a single endpoint like uh, uh, it is not a single url so you need to have multiple urls for this to work okay so this labs purchasing flow contains a race conditions that enables you to purchase items for unintended price hmm interesting to solve this lab successfully purchase lightweight lead leather jacket you can log into your account with the following credentials okay so what else we have here solving this lab requires this version okay and when experimenting we recommended you to purchase a gift card so you can redeem it later hmm interesting so let's access the lab so this is my account so let's log into my account winner peter okay let's log in okay i have a uh, hundred dollars i can spend it by buying any of this uh, listed in home page okay so we have some gift cards here so we can redeem them okay so let's try that let's go to home and as you can see we have gift card here as ten dollars let's view this okay let's uh, add to cart okay so it is added to cart so let's go to cart we have our gift card here okay so let's try to place the order so we have ten dollars reduce it from here and we actually bought this one okay so this is our code so let's copy this and let's go to my account uh, when you scroll down here you can give that code so let's paste the code let's redeem it okay our hundred dollars are back hmm interesting so our main task is to buy this one okay so we don't have that much money here okay so what we can do is uh, let's find the product id so the product id for this one is product id number two okay product id for this one is product id number one okay so what we can do is let's go to burp suite here we have proxy http history so what do we have here so this is where we started so this is our main page okay this is when i clicked on my account page and after this uh, this is the login page which has a post request okay so this has some parameters right so this is where i keep my username and password after logging in we have done some things okay so the first thing we need to do is let's capture this uh, main page which is home page okay and let's send it to repeater and uh, once we got here let's try to send this okay it took lot of time right so it took around 700 milliseconds so let's send it again let's send it quickly uh, so as you can see this is like around 200 milliseconds okay so when we send it twice i mean quickly when it came back so first time it is taking around 700 milliseconds now it is taking uh, around 200 milliseconds okay so what is happening on the server side so this is our browser okay and this is the server okay when we send the home page request which is a forward slash so what it is doing is uh, it is checking the session cookie and it is trying to validate it okay so it is validating and uh, during this time it is taking around 700 milliseconds okay when we send two request which is less than this time then uh, what it is going to do is the first request is going to go and second request is going to go till here since the user is validated okay and then it quickly checks the session id and then it immediately validates okay the second request is very quickly validated okay so it is around 200 milliseconds okay this is around 700 milliseconds when you give some time like around 5 to 10 seconds so this is going to be reset again okay reset back to uh, initial position so 
the next time you send any request so it is going to again check for uh, session id and it is going to wait for 700 milliseconds again so what we need to do is we use this particular functionality to our advantage and create a race condition so why we can create a race condition this is because uh, we have some delay here around 500 milliseconds delay okay so we can use this half millisecond delay to send few requests that can create race condition okay so what are the requests that we are going to send here so back to this let's go to proxy let's go to http history again so this time i'm going to check for specific ones which can add something to the cart okay so let's send it to repeater if i see the request so what this particular thing is doing is it is just adding this particular product number two to the cart okay that's all it is doing so what we can do is we can use this particular functionality to add product one instead of product two okay for that reason we need this request okay after this we also need something that can confirm our uh, buying okay so this particular checkout endpoint it is going to send this particular csrf token and confirm our buy okay so what this actually done is so it actually confirmed our buy your order is in its way okay so this is the confirmation message so what this request is doing is this is confirming our buy order okay so let's send this to the repeater so let's go back to this repeater so this one this is just a home page so let's rename it to home page okay so this one so this is add product to cart okay so we just have to change the number whenever necessary okay so we are adding product to cart and this one this particular thing is checking out so you can just uh, name it as checkout okay so what we can do is we will go to here and we will change this particular thing to product number one okay so that's what we need so what we can do now is let's uh, click on this plus icon create a tab group and only add these two things okay so what we are doing is we are creating a race condition here let's give it a different color to identify it differently i'm creating this okay this has been created so what you have to do now is uh, click this drop down menu and uh, select this particular thing okay which says send group in parallel so what we want to do is we want to send both this request parallelly okay when we try to send it now so what happens is initially the first request is always going to check the session cookie and it is going to wait for at least 700 milliseconds okay so that's not going to work because the second request is already sent okay so this is not going to work so what we have to do is we have to make something else to wait okay so for that reason we have a home page okay so we are making this one to wait for uh, 700 milliseconds so let's send this so while this is running so we will go here and we will immediately send this particular thing okay when this is waiting so both this request will reach the server okay so once they reach the server this particular endpoint is going to add product id number one to the cart and immediately this one is going to check out okay okay that's what we want so during that what happens is so while this is being added this is being checked out okay so during this race conditions there is a small race window in which uh, this product is added okay so that will check out automatically so that's what we want okay so in order for this to work so we also have to add something to the cart initially so what it is going to look like is so let's go back let's view details for this gift card because we can afford it right so let's add it to the cart let's go back and add it once again 
so we have something in the cart right so what's going to happen is this checkout endpoint so this checkout endpoint is going to work on this particular thing okay because it can afford it right while it is trying to process this checkout this is being added in the middle okay so automatically both this product id 1 and product id 2 are being checked out at the same time okay so that's what we need as we discussed before while this is running we should send other request immediately okay so if the time is not sufficient then it is not going to work okay so let's go back and let's uh, exploit this race condition so we need to send the home page first this necessarily doesn't has to be a home page but it can be anything that has a session cookie okay so first we send this one and then we immediately shift to this one and send this group parallelly okay send this one send this one as you can see in the behind okay so congratulations your slab is solved but let's reload and see what happened okay okay as you can see this is what happened we are in negative store credit usually this doesn't happen right but uh, due to race condition we can execute something like this okay so this is how to exploit this particular race condition all right i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one